Hey everyone, welcome to Rogers Gardens. I'm Christopher Nichols, the Lifestyle and Design Manager here at Rogers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take your outdoor space and bring it into an outdoor oasis. Fun, family, friends, let's show you how to bring containers, pillows, accessories, bring it all together in a cohesive look. When putting an outdoor space together, one of the first things that I like to do is choose a color and choose a theme. And for today's theme, my inspiration is drawn from this pillow from Elaine Smith. This is going to be our blue bohemian summer, chosen in the shades of cobalt, light blue, dark blue, navy, and a little bit of white. Like I said, I'm drawing inspiration from this wonderful pillow from Elaine Smith. With the colors of cobalt, I've decided that our base color for all of our planters, our rugs, our accessories, and our pillows is going to be cobalt blue. And if you look at the containers around me, you can see that color picking up. And I've decided to use them in contrasting plantings to make sure that the colors really pop against the blue. So now we've got our color chosen, let's go ahead and take a look at our containers. I've chosen a high gloss cobalt ceramic container to begin with, and in there we've put colors that are in shades of purple so they contrast against the cobalt blue. In here we've got impatience, we've got petunias, we've got just a mixture of wonderful shades of purple just to make sure that we're really bringing that color out on the cobalt blue. So you've got that blank wall or fence in your backyard that you don't know quite what to do with, but you want to add interest to it. One of the best ways that I can think of to bring that to life is woolly pockets. These are vertical gardens behind me that look amazing once they're planted up, and they're actually made of 100% recycled plastic bottles. So here's our woolly pocket, and it's fully planted with shade-loving plants. This pocket actually feels a little bit like felt, yet it's made with a liner inside of it on the lower half of it that keeps all of the water retained in it so it won't drain on your patio and will keep the moisture content for the plants and the roots. One of the key thing I want to tell you about these is that when planting them, always make sure that your soil comes up about halfway on the front and is deeper at the back because water will tend to move forward in it. In the planters, you can see all these shade loving plants. We've got angel vine, We've got impatience, and we've got this beautiful coleus. Again, in contrasting colors to really make this woolly pocket pop. Another way to use a woolly pocket, for those that don't like a lot of color, is to also just work in textures. And here what I've done is I've brought together a hookara, a little bit of uh, Hedera ivy, a little bit of pink polka dot plant, and even a little bit of primrose, which really adds a texture to it. It does bloom, but you can always pinch that off as well. And the great thing about this, as it grows in, all this color and texture begins to blend and trail, and it will look amazing once it's fully grown. So here's our, another woolly pocket that's actually got this lime green Lysomachia growing out of it. Again, another shade-loving trailer. And as it grows in, as you can see, it starts to disguise the woolly pocket, which is exactly what you want. It's meant to blend in to be the vessel, not to be the focal point. You want your plants to be as showy as possible. And especially against a dark background, it'll look amazing. Another way to use your woolly pocket, especially if it's going to be in full sun, is to plant it with succulents. They're easy care, fairly water tolerant, and doesn't take a whole lot of maintenance. So here we've got sedum, jade, and echeveria, all in contrasting shades of green to really make that woolly pocket pop. So here we are again, making our fence look amazing. And one of the ways that I like to do that as well is using metal containers. And these are verdigris metal containers that are planted with succulents. And I drew inspiration from that with again, another amazing pillow that I really love in shades of aqua, navy blue, and cobalt. One of the things to keep in mind about these vertical gardens is that the pocket is very small in them. So you want to make sure that you're planting with something like a succulent using cactus mix and make sure that it's compact and everything will trail out the front and this wall will look amazing. 
Another thing that I like to do in my outdoor space is create framing within the space itself using anchor pots. And here I've used the same cobalt blue cylinders, but I've planted them with shades of red, purple, and bright orange for contrast against the blue color. In this pot, we've got petunias, begonias, and of course my favorite sweet William dianthus, all sun-loving plants that look amazing. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. It's been a lot of fun. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and you can find more information at rogersgardens.com. I'm Christopher Nichols. Now go out there and entertain.